Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Dak Prescott's rise as MVP contender will be a double-edged sword for a Cowboys extension. With Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles getting hammered 42-19 at home against the San Francisco 49ers, a high-level NFL agent with a few lucrative quarterback contracts on his resume saw a winner that wasn't even on the field Sunday. Good day for Dak Prescott, he texted. As much as it could have been a reference to the Dallas Cowboys pulling closer to their NFC East rivals in the standings, it was really a text about future contract negotiations. The Cowboys and Eagles will play each other next week in Dallas, just as Hertz and Prescott creep a little closer to each other in an MVP race that the Eagles quarterback has led much of the season. But coming into the home stretch, it's Prescott who is trending upward, playing arguably the best football of his career and emerging as a fast-closing number two to Hertz in the betting odds for NFL MVP. If that momentum continues, it's going to weigh significantly for the Cowboys at the negotiating table. In a scenario that has given Prescott all the leverage in the world, with a contract that expires after the 2024 season and includes no trade and no franchise tag clauses, he's now touching his ceiling on the field, if not raising it. And the result is the definition of perfect timing for an NFL player. Prescott is playing at an MVP level. In order to get extensions done with other core players, the Cowboys need to sign him to an extension in the offseason to lower his $59.45 million salary cap charge. And by staying patient and not pursuing an extension last offseason, Prescott allowed for other massively significant quarterback contract extensions to get nailed down, Hertz, Lamar Jackson with the Baltimore Ravens, Justin Herbert with the Los Angeles Chargers and Joe Burrow with the Cincinnati Bengals. That means, when the offseason begins in a few months, the two biggest quarterback negotiations on deck will be Prescott and the Jacksonville Jaguars' Trevor Lawrence. If Prescott is coming off an MVP season, and if the Cowboys have some accompanying playoff success, it could be the most perfect quarterback contract storm since Joe Flacco entered extension negotiations with the Ravens after winning a Super Bowl. That lends some context to why Prescott's camp was very casual about an extension last offseason. While the outside world wondered why the Cowboys weren't aggressively pushing the need to get a deal done last spring, knowing how much leverage he'd have in 2024, Prescott's camp was projecting a singular message of we're not worried about it, it will get done when it's time to get it done. Now that time is fast approaching, and their client is recasting himself among the league's quarterback elites. A tier that was once hotly debated when it came to Prescott's inclusion is now seeing doubters dwindle by the week, to the point that almost everyone in the agent community agrees that a record deal seems inevitable. Emmett Smith's message about C.D. Lamb, pay the man his money. Dallas Cowboys wide receiver C.D. Lamb is having his best season as an NFL player in 2023. Through 12 games, he has racked up 90 receptions, 1,182 receiving yards, and 7 touchdowns. Lamb set an NFL record earlier this season, being the first receiver in history to have 10-plus receptions for 150-plus yards for three consecutive games. According to PFF, Lamb has 50 plays this season for 10-plus yards. Not only has Lamb been a huge part of the Cowboys' success through their nine wins in 12 games, but if you have him on your fantasy team, you are likely doing very well also. In an interview with The Boy Green Show, Dallas Cowboys legend Emmett Smith praised Lamb's impact for the team by saying the team needs to just pay the man his money. You see the value that he is bringing. The best ability is availability, and he has been available to the Dallas Cowboys ever since he got here. He has performed ever since he has been here, and he's getting better because the offense is expanding and people can't key on him like they were early in the season. Smith does bring up a valuable point regarding Lamb's impact in Dallas regarding his availability. Since being drafted, Lamb has appeared in 61 out of 62 possible games for the Cowboys. In a league as physical as the NFL, having someone who has shown they can consistently be on the field is a valuable trait. Lamb is nearing the end of his rookie contract. The team picked up his fifth-year option for 2024, which is expected to count for $17.99 million in cap. With that said, it is important that the Cowboys can get out ahead and sign Lamb to his second contract with the team. Lamb is still just 24 years old and is likely to receive his first career first-team All-Pro this season. The Cowboys have a solidified top-five receiver in the NFL and has more than lived up to his iconic jersey number this season. 
Cowboys bench $57 million starter four player on the rise, says Insider. After being unable to return to his previous production, Michael Gallup appears to be moving down the Dallas Cowboys depth chart and second-year wideout Jalen Tolbert is earning snaps as the team's third wideout, ahead of Gallup. ESPN's Ed Werder pointed out this change took place against the Seahawks in Week 13. Tolbert started versus Seahawks on three-receiver formation with Gallup coming in next play, Werder said on X, formerly known as Twitter, on December 3, 2023. Clearly seems MG has not been the player since the injury that he was before it, Tolbert is a young player on the rise. Cowboys thought MG would give same production as Amari at half cost. It is important to note that Gallup is still earning playing time within the offense. Gallup's 46% of offensive snaps remains more than Tolbert's 36% and Cavanti Turpin's 15%. Tolbert's 37% did top Gallup's 33% of snaps against the Commanders in Week 12. Some of this data has to do with Dallas using a rotation of players in three receiver sets, now instead of Gallup solely holding the spot. C.D. Lamb and Brandon Cooks have solidified themselves as the team's top two wideouts as the postseason nears. Dallas faces a decision on Gallup, not only when it comes to the receiver rotation, but also when it comes to his future in Big D. Gallup's five-year, $57.5 million contract is slated to run through the 2026 season. Gallup's salary jumps up from $1.6 million to $8.5 million in 2024 and his $6.7 million cap hit this season also significantly rises to $13.8 million in 2024. The Cowboys could opt to move on from Gallup this offseason, but it would come with a hefty dead cap hit of $13 million. That would not represent a significant salary cap savings for next season, but would allow Dallas to no longer be on the hook for the remaining three years of Gallup's deal. The front office wrongly believed Gallup could replace Cooper's production at a cheaper price. Dallas opted to re-sign Gallup during the 2022 offseason while trading Cooper to the Cleveland Browns. Gallup failed to record a reception against Seattle in Week 13, and he has just one catch over the last two weeks. Gallup has 28 receptions for 357 yards and a touchdown in 12 appearances this season. He has fallen behind second-year receiver Jalen Tolbert and free agent veteran acquisition Brandon Cooks, Fort Worth Star-Telegram's Mac Engel wrote in a December 3 titled Michael Gallup is missing in action from the Dallas Cowboys' revamped explosive offense. Cooks is a different player, whereas Tolbert is similar to Gallup. This roster is not exactly Mariana Trench deep at wide receiver. More like the kiddie pool. Tolbert is not exactly killing it, but at this point this move may simply be more about getting in the way of progress. If you think the guy on the bench has a greater upside than the starter, because the incumbent has hit his ceiling, you switch. It remains to be seen what Tolbert will do with this new opportunity after underwhelming with just two receptions during his rookie season in 2022. Through the first 13 weeks, Tolbert has 17 catches for 200 yards and one touchdown. And you fan, what do you think of the Michael Gallup situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.